Hello, and welcome back to the Curiosity Corner at the Toledo Museum of Art. My name is Anne, and I'm a docent at the TMA. I help visitors stay curious about our collection. Today, we are going to explore Houses at Auvers by the artist Vincent Van Gogh. Walking through galleries, we'll see all kinds of different works of art made with many different types of materials. Some are made with paint, some with clay, or wood, or glass. You can make art out of many different mediums. Medium is the word used to describe the materials and tools used by an artist to create art. Let's take a look at this work of art and see if we can guess its medium. Well, if you guess paint, you were right. This painting was made with a specific type of paint called oil paint. Artists would make their own paint by mixing pigments with oil and applying them to canvas with a brush, making brush strokes. This took a lot of time. Shortly before this painting was made, a new invention revolutionized the way artists painted. It was called the tube. Now, artists didn't have to stay inside and carefully mix their paints. They could carry their tubes of paint and find a place outside that inspired them. Vincent Van Gogh painted this particular work while he was standing right in front of these charming little cottages that still exist today. He would take his tools, tubes of paint, brushes, easel, palette, and canvas, and find a place outside that inspired him. He would set up his tools right on the spot and complete a painting. These types of paintings are called landscapes because they show the countryside or the land. Let's look closely. Do you see the brush strokes Van Gogh applied? You do? So do I. Vincent often did a painting in one day. He would work very quickly as to not lose the sunlight. It would be very difficult to paint a landscape in the dark as you can well imagine. What kind of day do you think it was when this painting was made? What makes you think that? Let's look closely at the brush strokes on the trees behind the cottages. What kind of lines do you see? Maybe curvy? These brush strokes make me feel the wind rustling through the branches on a windy day. How do his brush strokes make you feel? Check out the brush strokes on the roofs of the cottages. Some of them are going sideways or horizontally. Van Gogh did this to call your attention to the different textures on the roofs. He was suggesting the appearance of a tile roof or one made of thick bundles of hay. Next time you're outside, look at the roof of your house or apartment and see if you can make out what it's made of. How would you paint that? Now look at the colors on these cottages roofs. What colors do you see? I see blues, greens, reds, and grays. Do you think the roofs Van Gogh saw were actually these colors? By putting these brush strokes of different colors next to each other, Van Gogh was able to produce new colors and vibrancy and excitement, just like a windy spring day in Auvers. I hope you will all take some paper, pencils, markers, or paints and go outside and paint what you see. It's so much fun to paint what's right there in front of you. You will discover a whole new world filled with energy and texture. Thanks for being curious with me this week. You're shaping up to be a real art explorer. We hope you continue to stay curious about art online and in person at the Toledo Museum of Art. Come on in to your museum. Who knows what you'll discover?